Now that quiet period's over, we're about to lead right into official visit season. Yes, March, April, May, June, July, visits are going to be set up. Players are going to go see what school they want to go to. And sooner you just got two guys, drop them in their top six and top five. It's going to pull up and we'll be honest, I think we have a chance, but I'm not going to sunshine pump it too much but let's dive into these players one on offense one on defense before we do that welcome to sooner or later sports i'm your host jay thank you for pulling up to the channel we're on the grind for a thousand subs we're almost there so please hit that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe and share why because sharing is caring we're gonna grow this channel because of you the people all OU recruiting content right here and occasional lives where we just run our mouths but I digress let's dive into these two players that appear to have Oklahoma in their top six and top five and will be making visits. I'm excited. I hope you are because one's an Oki and the other one's from the other side of the country. We'll talk about it. But first, make sure you check out the Autograph app co-founded by the GOAT himself, Tom Brady. It's an app that allows fans to unleash the rewards you deserve with great ticket pricing, as well as different promotions. Like right now, a March Madness promo where you and seven of your friends can go to a big suite experience in L.A. for the Final Four. You definitely need to do that because if you win, you can bring me as your plus one. But the good thing about the Autograph app is this. You can get all your favorite college basketball and just college content, sports content in general, all in one place. Read articles from your favorite team's blogs and publishers directly in the app, as well as listen to the top podcast hosts that are all hosted inside of there. See everybody there. And you can also, you know, refer your squad and get in there and get rewarded together. Leverage those points for opportunities with ticket pricing and ticket promotions. All the things you're looking for for being a fan. So check out the Autograph app. Use our link in the description below. And the promo code Unfair Sports that lets them know that I sent you and obligates you to bring me on anything that you win. Just FYI. All right, as you can see, first player we're going to talk about is Kamar Archie. Now, Kamar Archie is out of Trenton, New Jersey from Hun School. Yeah, y'all know Hun School. We talked about Cole Breeler a couple of uh, a show videos ago. As we're starting to see some crystal balls come in for him potentially coming to Oklahoma. The big four-star defensive lineman is looking at Oklahoma. But Archie here, Kamara is looking at us at linebacker. Now, roughly around 6'6", 6'1", 220 linebacker. Consensus consensus and composite four-star on 247 as well as on three. Got him rated probably around 235 top 235 players in the country. He'll definitely make everybody's top 300s, put it that way. And if he continues to have the seasons he's having, he may end up in the top 200 with no problem, with no avail. But he's basically awaiting on uh, 247 to move him up the charts. But I want to talk about him first because he plays both sides of the ball. In 2022, he finished with 72 tackles as well as rushed 43 times for 750 yards and eight touchdowns. Yeah, I said that. 43 rushes, 750. He didn't run a lot, but when he ran, he got a lot. Hoping, I'm wondering if that's a typo, but statistically it don't show like, look like it is, but still, he's a beast. He's a missile. And so there was an interview I read that he had, and he talked about how Brent Venables has been recruiting him since he was a freshman in high school back in the Clemson days, right? He did a visit to Clemson this past weekend and, of course, enjoyed his time there. Clemson's recruiting him heavy. Barrett Carter is one of the players that he mentioned in one of the articles I read on 247. But he did mention that Brent Venables had been recruiting him since he was young. And so he has a relationship and it's established. We see Oklahoma going after those Hun school kids. You've got, like I said, Cole. You had Logan Howland from last season. Oklahoma's trying their best to get up there in that Northeast area, take some of that talent away from Penn State, Rutgers, and all of them or whatnot, because, I mean, it's in New Jersey. It's He could stay close to home, but, of course, we, we want some of those cold-weather kids because somebody jumped in my comments and made a good point. Them cold-weather kids usually are real, real tough, especially playing high school ball up there. It gets frigid. Like that here. He'll be tough, but at the same time, watching him in these videos, man, he can find the hole. He can catch. 
on the offensive side of the ball, but on the defensive side of the ball, he finds the hole, stuff him, and he hits people. And he be leveraged, leveling folks, right? He gets in there, and he makes it happen. So that's one of those players you want that can – break down what the offense is doing quickly and get in there. So don't, like I said, I want to hype him up too much because we don't know what it looks like. He dropped his top six. And of course, Oklahoma was on that list. As you see here, got Oklahoma, Michigan, Clemson, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Rutgers, right? So your two Northern teams with Rutgers and Michigan, Clemson coming down the line, Tennessee and South Carolina coming around the loop right into us. And so kind of like a, you know, like a J shape, but we hope that we can go ahead and get him here for an official visit. I anticipate he's got one. He's did. He did say he got an official visit said he's going to come in June. I'm anticipating the weekend of the 21st when everybody else is going to show up. It's going to be a great opportunity to show him a good time and hopefully we can pull him in. So that right there, Kamar Archie, hop in the comments, let your boy know your thoughts. How y'all feeling about him? Now let's talk about this Oki. Now, this is one of the top kids in the country. We've got Nate Roberts out tight in out of Washington, Oklahoma. Standing here, 6'4", 200, and roughly 35 pounds a man. And he's a consensus, a composite, top 150 player in the country. 247 has him listed at about 118th naturally, nationally, where two four, uh, on three has him at about 142nd. And... He's been an OU fan most of his life. His brother Jake is now here. His brother Jake went to North Texas, where left Seth Luttrell was. When Luttrell uh, left North Texas and came to Oklahoma as an analyst, he went to Baylor last year where their dad played. And now he is here at Oklahoma. And so soon has got an uphill battle to go against this, for this young man as Ohio State is really, really battling out. Now, Nate was committed to Notre Dame for a while. Then he decommitted last year, and we dropped a video on him thinking that, you know, there's a chance we can get a flip going, but he was 2025. So I didn't anticipate any movement that soon. Well, now he's starting his official visits, and so he dropped his top five with official visits to go with it. You've got him going to Ole Miss, um, yeah, Ole Miss on 27th. End of May, he's going to Penn State. Ohio State at the beginning of June. The next weekend, he's going to go up to Oregon. And then Oklahoma gets the last shot at him on June 21st in Norman. And so we're hoping that that weekend we can hopefully get him to, you know, potentially flip a commitment, right? The anticipation is that he's probably going to be a Buckeye. He's got some, uh, he's got Wilt Fong as well as Tom Lloyd. The national guys have already put in their predictions for him. But if he does decide to commit at Ohio State, that don't mean he ain't going to make the visit. The anticipation he will be here. And so we will definitely go after him. And now statistically, man, they put up some numbers, right? His junior year, 38 catches for 816 yards with 479 of those yards being yak. Yards after the catch, eight touchdowns. Sheesh. That is talent, right? That, that's that, that's some talented stuff. And so we need that, right? The year before that, his sophomore year, 33 catches, 705 yards, 11 touchdowns with 324 of those being yak. The anticipation is that Oklahoma is going to really leverage the tight end this coming season. So I'm hoping that we do what we can do to bring this young man in because love a homegrown four-star, especially a high four-star like him. Add him with C.J. Nixon and all the other ones that we're going to work on for Oklahoma. Whew we got a chance so that right there is nate roberts hop in the comments let your boy know your thoughts you think oklahoma's got a chance you think ohio state's gonna close this one out and completely box oklahoma out of it i think oklahoma still has a chance even if he does commit i don't believe anything until he signs on the line which is dotted which is with most players but with him especially we use the tight end like crazy this season like devon mitchell we really go in with hampton Frey or uh, Josh Fanuel or even Bauer Sharp. If we really leverage that pretty solid growing tight end room and we, we get some production out of him, I mean, he may change his mind be like, okay. Or even his brother, Jake Roberts, we get him out there going, maybe like, all right, okay. I see what y'all are doing. Take advantage of it. If you made it this far, you like the content, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Love for you to join his family, college football fans, talking all OU recruiting, having a blast doing it. So, 
Check out one of these other videos. Of course, I keep them for you all. And uh, we'll have some more on these uh, top players as well as, you know, players that were impressed this past weekend. We'll talk soon. Peace.